This is Rabbi E, the fourth reading of our weekly Torah portion um, of Lech Lecha. Rabbi E, the fourth reading, is uh, found in Genesis chapter 14, uh, verse 1 through 20. It's 20 verses, starting with verse number 1. Vayhi bimei amrafel melech shinar arioch melech elasar kedar laomer melech elim melech elam now it came to pass in the days of Amraphel, the king of Shinar, Ariach, the king of Elasar, Kedar Laomer, the king of Elam, and Tidal, the king of Goim. Asumil Chama et Bera, Melech, Melech Sedom, Bet Birsha, Melech Amura, Shinav, Melech Adma, Veshem Ever, Melech Tziboim. Umelach Bela he tsoar that they waged war with Bera the king of Sodom and with Birsha the king of Gomorrah. Shinab the king of Adma and Shemeber the king of Tzboim and king of Bela which is Tsoar. Kol ele chavru el emek hasidim hu yam hamelach. All these joined in the valley of Sidim, which is the Dead Sea. Shtemesre Shana Avdu et Kador Laomer, Ushloshasre Shana Maradu. For twelve years they served Kedar Laomer, and for thirteen years they rebelled. Ube Arba Esre Shana, Ba Kedar Laomer of Hamlachim Asher Ito, Vayaku et Refaim Be Ashtrot Karnaim. Ve'et hazuzim bahem, ve'et ha'emim b'shave kiryatayim. And in the fourteenth year, Kedar Omer came, and the kings who were with him, and they smote the Raphaim in Ashtoreth Karnaim, and the Zuzim in Ham, and the Emim in Shave kiryatayim. Ve'et ha'chori be Hararam Seir Ad El Paran Asher Al Hamidbar and the Horites in the mountain in their Mount Seir until the plain of Paran which is alongside the desert. Vayashuvu Vayavo and Ain Mishpat Hikadesh Vayaku at Kol Sedeha Maliki Vigam et Amori Hayoshev Bechat Tzon Tamar. And they returned and came to Ain Mishpat, which is Kadesh, and they smote the, the entire field of the Amalekites, and also the Amorites who dwelt in Chazezon Tamar. Chazezon Tamar, Vayitze Melech Sedom, Umelech Amora, Umelech Adma, Umelech Tzvoim, Umelech Bela Hitzoar, Vayarchu Ita Milchama, Vemek Hasidim. And the king of Sodom and the king of Gomorrah and the king of Adma, and the king of Zeboim and the king of Bela, which is Soar, came forth. And they engaged them in battle in the valley of Sidim. As Kedar Omer Melech Elam, Metid Al Melech Guim, Be'am Rafel, Melech Shinar, Arioch Melech Elasar, Arba Melechim et Achamisha. With Kedar Omer, the king of Elam, and Tidal, the king of Goyim, and Amraphel, the king of Shinar and Ariach, the king of Elsar, four kings against the five. The Emek Hasidim Be'erot Be'erot Chemar Ve'anusu Melech Sedom Ve Amura Ve'yiplu Ve'yiplu Shama Hanisharim Hara Nasu Hera Nasu. Now, the valley of Sidim was composed of many clay pits. And the kings of Saddam and Gomorrah fled, and f- they fell there, and the survivors fled to a mountain. Vayikichu et kol ruchush Sidom v'amura v'et kol achlam v'yelchu. And they took all the possessions of Sidom and Gomorrah, and all their food, and they departed. Vayikichu et lot v'et ruchusho Benachi Avram Velchu Vehu Yoshev Sedom. And they took Lot and his possessions, the son of Abram's brother, and 
they departed, and he was living in Sodom. And the fugitive came and he told Abraham the Hebrew, and he was living in the plain of Mamre the Amorite, the brother of Eshkol and the brother of Aner, who were Abraham's confederates. And Abram heard that his kinsmen had been taken captive, and he armed his trained men, those born in his house, 318, and he pursued them until Dan. Vayichalek alehem laila, hu v'avada v'yakem v'yirdefem al chova, asher bismor ledamasik. And he divided himself against them at night, he and his servants, and smote them, and pursued them until Choba, which is to the left of Damascus. Vayashav es kol harachush v'gam et lot. Vayashav et kol harachush v'gam et lot, achiv. Urechusho heshiv v'gam et hanashim v'et ha'am. And he restored all the possessions, and also Lot, his brother and his possessions he restored, and also the women and the people. And the king of Sodom came out toward him after his return from smiting Kedar Omer, and the kings who were with him to the valley of Shaveh, which is the valley of the king. And Malki Tzedek, the king of Salem, brought out bread and wine, and he was a priest to the Most High God. And he blessed him, and he said, Blessed be Abraham to the Most High God, who possesses heaven and earth. And blessed be the Most High God who has delivered your adversaries into your hand and he gave him a tithe from all.